Good afternoon, Madam Speaker. Good afternoon to you, sir. A couple of questions to the proponent of the bill through you. You may proceed. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Would this coverage include prenatal care? Through you, Madam Speaker. Representative Scanlon. Through you, Madam Speaker. As defined by the essential health benefits under the Affordable Care Act, prenatal care is something that is covered. So if this individual was to, in fact, qualify for this special enrollment period and then purchase one of these plans, she would be covered to receive some pregnancy care. Through you, Madam Speaker. Representative Delnicki. Thank you uh, to the proponent. Uh, Madam Speaker, through you, would this bill provide wellness care for the mother through the pregnancy? Representative through Scanlon. Through you, Madam Speaker, wellness care is also one of the 10 ACA essential health benefits, so yes, through you, Madam Speaker. Representative Delnicki. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and thank you to the proponent. I've heard talk in here, and quite frankly, they're right. In a perfect world, everyone would have that kind of coverage in a family. A woman would have that kind of coverage, but unfortunately, we do not live in a perfect world, unfortunately. We do know that prenatal care, wellness care for the mother, does yield better outcomes. And I go back to my experiences when I served on a board of education in my community, and I saw what the costs were associated with a child that had issues that occurred, health issues that occurred through the pregnancy, through the prenatal care or lack thereof, and the expense that would be incurred to provide that child with an education to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars per year. So is it a cost avoidance? It certainly could very well be a cost avoidance to a city, to a town, to the taxpayer in that city or town, and of course to the parents, the mother, the family of that child with a better outcome. You know, it's a funny way to put it, but it's almost like you pay a little more on the front end to save a heck of a lot on the back end. You provide the coverage, you have the coverage, and again, this is not a perfect world. In a perfect world, I've heard the discussion that people should be covered for this, and, and they're right. In a perfect world, that's what it would be, but this is not a perfect world. I voted in favor of this in committee. I am going to vote in favor of it here today. And I, one, one thing I have a tough time understanding is why you would call it like a pre-existing condition because it, a child, a pregnancy, a baby is a wonderful thing. It's something that, quite frankly, I'll never have an heir to the empire at this point. You know, So I, I envy anyone that, that will have an heir to the empire. And again, I look at the cost of the schools, I look at the outcomes, I look at the families, I look at the children, and based on those concerns, I do believe in my heart that it will save money on the back end to the taxpayers that won't have those issues to deal with in their schools, in their communities, and of course we'll have more productive, better children that are healthier and an opportunity to, to thrive in our great state and community. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, sir.